better than Tyson. Talking about the weight, Tyson usually comes in around 216, 217. Up a bit for this one, 221 and a half. But according to talking to Mike this week, he wants to be a little bit bigger in this heavyweight division. You take a look at the punch stat here. Average right. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Championship of the World. Introducing in the blue corner, fighting out of Catskill, New York, weighing 221 and one quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career with 27 wins, no defeats, 25 KOs. He is the challenger, Mike Tyson. And in the red corner, formerly of Jamaica, now fighting out of Miami, Florida, weighing 218 and one half pounds. His professional record consists of 31 wins, four defeats, one draw, and 23 KOs. He is the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Trevor Burpee. Well, now, if you get in close and I'll tell you to break your stop points and step back clean. Any question from the challenger or chief second? Any question from the champion or chief second? All right, let's get it on. Come on. All right, and with the words of Mills Lane, we're ready. I don't know about you folks, but here at the Hilton Hotel, there is electricity in the crowd. I've got goosebumps on the line. The WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Trevor Burbick will try to stop Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson has trained his whole life for this. Look at him, Tyson to the right of your screen. Burbick in the corner to your left. We're just about ready for round one, and let's watch how quick Tyson will jump on Trevor Burbick. His whole life has been for this night, but Trevor wants to prove that he's one of the great champions. Let's see how long his reign lasts. Mike Tyson kind of feeling him out here, but he goes with that right-hand lead right away. You get the idea now that Burbick uh, uh, is showing a little false bravado here. Standing toe-to-toe -to -toe is not the way. If he doesn't pump that jab in the face, Tyson will come right through him. Tyson with the left, bounces it off the forehead of Trevor. Trevor tries to work underneath. Tyson will have no part of it. Notice the movements ahead of Mike Tyson as he takes a light left jab. Tyson will be able to get underneath it. Oh, wow! To the right, another left hook that just raises. Trevor, with this bravado, could get in some big trouble in a hurry. He's taking big chances with Tyson, not feeling him out at all. This early going around one, actually what Tyson likes. Notice that Burbick is standing directly in front of him. That is that really caught him. That is disaster for all of the opponents of Mike Tyson. He's standing flat-footed right in front of him, and he's going to get clipped. Believe me, folks, he's going down. You can't fight Tyson this way. It's great that he has the courage, but this is a poor fight plan. Oh, the right hand gets him behind the left ear. Trevor tries to push him off. Not the way to keep him up. Notice the lazy left. Watch Tyson load up with left and right. He's, he knows that he can score now. Mike Tyson to the right of your screen, shorter, heavier, younger, and bolder than Trevor Burbank. Mike, as soon as, oh, a light right hand, but the left hook right there. Notice Tyson throws him in twos and threes. Trevor is getting lazy with the left hand. Notice the left hand is not pumping like it was against Pinklin Thomas when he won the title. That's a fear factor. He's away from his bravado in the early going of this round. Tyson having a good first round. Wow, with the uppercut, misses the left hook. Tyson is in total command in his head. He knows he can beat this guy right now. Notice Trevor not doing anything right now. He doesn't want to be in here with Tyson. He needs to use his seven inches in reach, and you can't use it when you're head to head like this. Now the left should be pumping. Instead, Tyson will walk right through it. See this, Tyson walking right through. He's wild with the left hook as Burbick, and Tyson clips him with the left hand. Look at this, combination, and Burbick ready to go, but he stays on his feet. Another right hand clips him. He can't take shots like this very long. Wow, with the right hand is Mike. Again, he's left. Catches him with a foot. Trevor's ready to go again. Tyson knows that he can score at will now. Burbick doing nothing like he did against Piglin Thomas. One for Mike Tyson. Well, at least Burbick didn't get out in the first round, but he's been staggered. Let's listen in the corner. Notice 
the replay where Tyson is getting through with the right hand, the left hook. He throws punches in bunches. And I learned that line from Angelo Dundee, who happens to be working with Trevor Burbick. But it's not Burbick who's throwing the bunches of punches. You see him staggered. You see the legs ready to go. Make no mistake, Tyson is in command. This may not go very long because he's got tremendous confidence now. Tyson already on his stool is Trevor Burbick. This is round two. The WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Trevor Burbick and Mike Tyson. Tyson goes to work right away, and he's got Trevor in trouble, and he's down. He'll have to take the standing eight count as he steps right up the count to four and five and six and seven and eight, and he says he's okay. Mills Lane lets them continue. Here comes Tyson again. He knows he can hurt him anytime. Left up, right hand. Again, Trevor hanging on. But this is a defensive mode now. Trevor not trying to do anything offensively. Tyson has him under control. Left hook light. Watch for the uppercut. There it is. Didn't land, but uh, he has the idea. Wow, with the right hand is Mike. Mike throwing caution to the wind. He's in total command in this fight right now. We're only in round two. And the heavyweight champ already wearing black trunks. He is the challenger here tonight. Believe it or not, he looks like the champion right now. And it may not be too long before he wears that belt. Wild on the break in Mills Lane warns Trevor about it. Trevor trying to do all he can, but what he's not doing is holding off Mike with the left. And you see the light left uh, hook by Mike in the right hand. Mike knows he can hurt him. He had him down once in this round, wants to drop him again in a hurry. Usually what Tyson does is take that little dip, come with the uppercut, and really bang to the body, underneath the heart, or crush the right side of the rib cage. Instead, he goes to the body downstairs, catches him with the right hand upstairs. Two good rights in there. Caught in a bit of a camera switch there, and another right hand landed. See Mike just pouring. He's trying to line up that right hand, and he'll be right behind it with a left hook. Mike doesn't throw just one punch. When he gets a guy in real trouble, he usually knows how to finish. Look at these shots. All landing to the head of Trevor Burbank. It's just a matter of time before Mike gets the clean shot by Mike Tyson. 20 years old, Mike Tyson on his way to becoming one of the youngest heavyweight champions of all time. Bangs the body. Wow, with that uppercut is Tyson. Catches him with a light left hook, and he goes down. He goes down. He should be able to get up from this. His legs may be shut. They are. As Trevor Burbick falls back in the rope, I don't know if he's going to be able to continue. He's got the heart, but his body won't let him do what his mind wants to. And he's counted out. It'll be scored as a knockout. Mills Lane counted him out to 10. It's all over. We've got a brand new heavyweight champion of the world, Mike Tyson. Well, Trevor Burbick was brave in the early going of round one. And from about the midway point round one, he couldn't do anything. There's Jimmy Jacobs in there. Bill Payton also works with him. A very happy Don King. Kevin Rooney congratulates this champion. Jose Torres there in the ring with Mike as well. Former light heavyweight champion of the world. Trevor is disappointed, can't believe what's happened. And it's jubilation for the corner of this guy, Mike Tyson. Let's watch the finishing blow. Crushing right hand. Wow with a left hook, then a right hand right in the temporal bone, and he's in trouble here. He reels backwards. That's the very first knockdown of the of the fight, and he's able to get back up. And you saw the punches that landed. He misses that uppercut, but notice it's all Tyson. Burbick doing nothing offensively, and he crashes down. Mills Lane sends him to the corner, and look at the courage. Again, his mind and heart want to get up, but his body won't allow him to. His legs are rubberized. Look at him. Mills Lane continues the count. And it'll be scored as a knockout for Mike Tyson. And that's it. He's not ready. And 20 years old, a heavyweight champion. How does it feel to be wearing this belt? Well, at the moment, I waited for all my life since I started the game of boxing. And as everyone said, um, that Burbick, Burbick didn't have a chance. Burbick was a very tough, very strong, in fact, very, very strong. I was never expecting him to be as strong like that. I knew he was strong, but I didn't expect him to be as strong as me. And he was very strong. But I was, I was calm, and I was timing my punch. Every punch I do, I do a bad intention in a vital area.
everybody thought that the, the magnitude of this event, your youth, the fact that you have been a little too impatient in past fights might make this a longer fight. How did you feel coming into this fight? How are you prepared to fight him? Well, I told everybody um, I, I anticipated on a knockout because I was so calm, so relaxed, and I had so much belief in myself. Because my trainer, Kevin Rooney, and I, I want to get in here. We sacrificed so much, and we put in so much, and I just knew we couldn't fail. What was your plan? What did you feel from him in the first round? Well, I, my, my plan was to stick my jab in his face, as you saw. It was hard in his face, and every punch was to throw with bad intention. That All he right, did. We're going to take a look at the final knockdown to show. And would you describe it for us, Mike? Just look at every punch. I'm, oh, right bad here. Intention, bad, bad intention. Bad intention. Mess miss. That, that miss. He's lucky. And I'm just waiting. Boom. Okay. Daddy, right off the temple. Right off the temple. He's easy to hit. The guy's open for everything. Look at that. That's what I'm I'm the youngest champion ever in the history of the sport. My record would last for immortality. It would never be broken. And we're going to unify. Why is, it, why is it so important for you to have, to be immortal, to have a record that you feel nobody will ever break? Because I want to live forever. <laughs> That's all right. did, did he ever hit you with anything? He threw some punching glass at me, but even if they hit, did um, connect, I refused to get hurt, I refused to get knocked down, I refused to lose. There's no way in the world I was going to go out this ring walking. I had to be carried out. I, was, I had to be dead. There's no way I was going to leave this ring alive. I didn't it, see it, looked, it looked early in the second round that he had already recognized your power and that he was starting to hold on and just survive even as early as that. Well, I don't know about that. If that was so, that was his problem. I was coming to destroy and win the heavyweight championship of the world, which I'd done. And I'd like to dedicate my fight to my great guardian, Custom Otto, and I'm, I'm sure he's up there and he's looking and he's talking to all the great fighters and saying his boy did it. And smiling, that's right. <laughs> what are your ambitions from here on out? To unify the title. Will you consider yourself really the youngest champion until you unify the title? Well, I consider myself the youngest. Look at the magnitude. Look, look what I draw here. Look at, the, look at the fans. Everybody came to see this fight. This fight was unbelievable. It's an exciting moment of my life. I, I still can't believe the audience and everything. Custom and I would have to say the championship fight. Custom Otto, when he first saw you at the age of 13, 14, he said to you, stay with me and you can be the heavyweight champion of the world. Yes. And you said, how do you know that? You just That's saw just me. I said. I said this is a crazy old white dude. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think he saw in you? I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. He's a genius. You, you can't. Everything he said happened. Isn't it true? Everything he said happened with That's me. Right. Was it that he saw in you just strength, or did he see? Do you do you feel some kind of character trait it that had would to be. carry you through? always depended everything on character and determination. He saw I had the character, but not the experience. But he saw that I was good enough to fight more experienced fighters and win. Next, and he had the smart. <laughs> next month, next month, Tim Witherspoon fights Tony Tubbs. You will fight the winner. Give us your assessment quickly of that fight, and what do you think about your chances against either of them? I will. I would love to fight the winner. I don't know who the winner is going to be, but I would love to fight the winner. I'm champion of the world. I'll fight any man alive, and I feel I could be anyone in the world. And I'll take on all comers. Thank you very much, Mike Tyson.